Hey there, Mod.io community. Today we're going to dive into the basics of getting started with Mod.io. And of course, the first step is logging in, which is a piece of cake. All you got to do is click on the login button, then use one of the four services to register. And if it happens to give you a weird looking name, you can change that immediately and then again in a month. Next up is creating your first game. Head over to the Create tab and get ready to be spoiled with a bunch of free templates to make your game creation a breeze. I'm going with the open world template so I get a nice clean slate, then I'll give it a name and voila, our first game has just begun. Now that we have our canvas, we need our paint. And for that, we'll look towards the workspaces. Today I'm gonna be going over the first three, so let's get started with play. In the play workspace, you can see what it's like to play your game and what your players will see. Except for the blue tabs at the top, that won't be there. Another cool feature is how you can quickly switch from all the different workspaces for quick bug fixes and edits. Next up is the map workspace. This is where you can make changes to your map in a ton of different ways. At the bottom right, you might see that jumbled mess that there is the palette where you can take the brush tool and choose a tile from the pre-made sprite sheet or even create your own custom one in the settings then place it on your map on the correct layer aka trees go on the trees layer walls on the walls layer etc and you can also hide layers with the eye icon to ensure there are no holes in the floor if placing one tile at a time feels too slow use the two by two option to speed up your game making process this is especially helpful for trees and if you need to copy a block from the layer you're already on just right click with the brush tool so you don't have to fumble through the palette for a block you already placed. Also, if you need to move around the map, the cursor tool allows you to drag your view or zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. Now it's time to add some meat on the hypothetical bones of your game with the entities workspace. Entities include all objects, characters, projectiles, and even scripts within the mod.io engine. By default, you start with two entities, the world and homie. The world is a global editor that affects almost everything about your game, which is great for mass changes and the core functions of your game. Game. And below that is the unit. Units are the actual characters within the game, like what you play as, NPCs, and IEVs. You can edit almost every aspect of those things within the units panel, including cell sheet, name, attributes, controls, effects, and a bunch more. Next, we have items, which is what your units, AK players, will use in the game. From weapons to a home-cooked meal, you can edit the default options as needed to fit your game's needs. And last but not least, projectiles. These can have their own scripts, allowing them to function independently from the units and items. Projectiles could be a bullet fired from your item or a moving obstacle triggered on the map. Once you're done with all the changes, simply hit save map, and if you're ready to make it official, hit the republish button and this will close the current server and open it again. You only need to do this to publish script changes, but making changes to the map and hitting save when editing entities updates the game immediately. And don't forget to invite friends to make with you. If you have any, that is. I hope this helps you start your mod.io journey. We'll cover a lot more in-depth stuff in future episodes, but this has been Eat a Veggie signing out.